All right, we're back. And now that I've uh, cursed the sport of airsoft and anyone who enjoys it in the entire hobby because of this trigger, it's in now. <laughs> we're going to go over to the right-hand side of the gearbox and we're going to add our tappet plate, lubricant, a little bit of white grease in there, Teflon grease, and we're going to some grease in for our, uh, for our piston. And like so, just getting those rails in there pretty good. No big deal. And now, I'll move it back out of the way. Carefully bring our piece into the view. We're going to zoom it out. And the fun begins. Nice thing is with the, the metal the metal spring guide is really a treat because the teeth, you know, the holes in the gearbox for it back here, as you can see, are nice and meaty and they hold that thing in place. And the plastic ones want to fly out and cause a lot of problems at this time. At this point in time, it's it's just such a headache, but so far so good. And I'm really, uh, this has been a pretty pleasant uh, gearbox. Out of the hundreds I've done, this is, you know, the first one that's been pretty easy. Now, as you can see, I put it over I'm going to get a really, you get a really good view of this. So far, the spur gear looks like it's going to line up okay. Now, making sure my screwdriver is clean and free of grease. My bevel gear looks like the worst. So I reach in, I'm going to move it sort of into position. As you can tell, the whole works just kind of dropped as I did that. And that's because of any, any place it was hung up kind of went. Now, course you know without that guard in place that we took off earlier we can move our sector gear and unfortunately it's caused our bevel gear to come out of place a little bit but that is where you reach in with your screwdriver and you catch your bevel gear and now the bevel gear is definitely in place luckily our anti-reversal latch is sticking right to where it should bevel gear is in place a little movement, a little finesse. Now sector gear is in getting into place. The top, I want to push down up here, make sure that uh, our cylinder is getting flush, and it is. We'll check a little check over here. We had a good lineup on our spring guide, and it's just right now it's our sector gear causing the issue. Our sector gear into place, and our trigger is a Trigger sections are just a hair off, and it's just a matter of going through each one, each piece, and getting everything where you want it. Right now, again, the sector gear causing the problem. And right now, I can see right here that it's our trigger, trigger holes. And we're clicking all over the place, which is a good sign. It means we're starting to make headway here. Getting this gearbox back together. And voila! We have a complete seal. Excellent working of everything. Everything's nice and flush. Look, hold it carefully. You know, keep our gearbox clamp carefully. Come up, check. All your seams, seams are looking good. Everything is set. Uh, we have our trigger here, the little notch on the trigger sticking there. That's what we want. That keeps it from you know going into safety and coming out of safety. So now that we've got it like this, uh, it's nice to hold it a little bit down there and let your hands off as long as it doesn't explode. And give it a couple of the screws that it requires. And unfortunately, I have all my stuff in here, so bear with me. Let me grab a screw, and we'll put it in the bottom. We'll start over here. There's no particular way to start. Um, of course, as with anything, I'm sure there's going to be aficionados who tell you do it this way or do it that way, and... I don't always agree with that. Find out, find out what works for you and just get to it. But uh, get them in there. Oh, 
<laughs> Sorry, that was wrong of me. Get in there. Start to center down. Definitely don't want to put them there. There's a reason. You probably already know that's where the motor mounts. But nobody's perfect, so I don't claim to be. Right now we're just working on the the four screws. At this point, I normally would have used Loctite on these screws. Uh, you'd like to, I prefer Permatex Medium Strength Thread Locker Blue Loctite. Um, I put them on the threads. Um, it, it just take too long to complete this video doing this entire procedure because there's so much more to it. So I'm gonna omit this right now and just get through the video. Uh, I'm going to shut this off and come back to you as soon as I have all the screws in.